Alrighty, welcome back everyone. It is Laughing Games here. I am back and it is time for another StarCraft 2 1 vs 1 replay cast. Today we are going to be having Alpha Star as per usual. This match being the Alpha Toss. And in the bottom left hand side of the map it is Diamond Charon. Going to be Gonna be trying to cause quite the upset. Uh, not often we see Alpha Star lose to a Diamond player. However, it has happened. There is a precedent of Diamond players cheesing out Alpha Star or Alpha Star derping a lot. So you never know. And that's why we're watching every single Alpha Star game there is. We just gotta know, right? We gotta explore the AI every way that we can. Now we do take a look. As far as the builds go, it's normal on both sides so far. And so, yeah, everything looks pretty, pretty darn normal. Uh, just, just a bit of like an update. I've been doing a lot of videos to make like, uh, make like a buffer for when I'm away for seven weeks. But uh, the past couple of days, I actually didn't make any. And uh, I think maybe I, maybe I was burnt out a little bit on casting. Maybe I hadn't been sleeping as well or whatever. But I'm excited to be, uh, to be able to cast some more StarCraft II. I woke up this morning and I was like, all right, let's do it. Let's watch some Alpha Star. And so, yeah, sometimes taking taking a break from things for for a little bit or a few days can always be can always be good for you. So, anyway, we take a look. Command center on the way for the diamond player. Reaper expand is going to be his build. Started the started the orbital command after he started the CC, which is actually an interesting thing. Uh, I remember when Terrans were getting the getting the ever loving heck harassed out of their command centers by like early adepts or max packs or things like that there was one there was like one discussion which it's like why don't you just build the command center before you start your orbital so your command center is done sooner so it can't be canceled or it can't be delayed as it'll already be done and you know i never really never really saw the answer to that so i still wonder a little bit we have the Reaper coming across the map for for the Diamond player. And ladies and gentlemen, seeing as how Alpha Star is at 45 gas, let's try and hit 45 likes on this video. If we could do that, it would be absolutely amazing as the Adept is going to shoo away the Reaper of the Diamond player. And interestingly enough, the Diamond player starts up an additional barracks and a factory. So potentially a 2-1-1 we'll be seeing out of him today. Which is always interesting. Gonna want to start up his natural based orbital command. There we go. So the diamond player going about things a little bit unique, but so far seems to be macroing pretty straightforward. We'll see how it's gonna go when a wrench gets thrown into his plans. And it looks like the opening for Alpha Star is gonna be Blink, which is exciting. I do like to see how Alpha Star utilizes its Blink stalkers. Whether it's gonna go for something like a super early third base behind this, because right now it is just a one gateway blink opening. No additional gates have been made. So we very well could just see a third base get thrown up really soon from Alpha Star. For now though, we do actually see two more gateways get plopped down. Will we see a third, maybe a robo coming up next? Uh, or a fourth gateway, I mean, so. Yeah, maybe. Maybe Alpha Star is just going to macro up. Maybe it's going to get aggressive. It's tough to see. Three gates is kind of the middle of the road. Because as as a Protoss, you absolutely can. You absolutely can go for an expansion off of two gates. But then it looks like the AI is also getting a shield battery in its main. So this is quite interesting. How Alpha Star is actually going about this. It's not like it's a super greedy play. It's actually quite a, quite a macro or quite a safe macro play it would seem the reaper jumps in for the diamond player gonna try and grab a probe actually gets the probe and will get out with the reaper just barely so a nice move from the diamond player he doesn't actually know what tech alpha star is going for just yet so for all he knows he's getting dt rushed and is totally gonna die but luckily for the diamond player that is not the case and so all is well uh the diamond player he's going for his two 2-1-1. He hasn't made any medivacs yet, but there we go. First one's being queued up. Second one gets queued up, but he's got a supply block. Classic diamond player play. However, a 2-1-1 against Alpha Star isn't something that I mind. However, Alpha Star's build for now does seem to be something that'll be quite effective against a 2-1-1. 
as there is a lot of stalkers. There's triple gateway production. There's a shield battery at the natural. And so we'll see how well this is going to work for the diamond player. If Alpha Star will actually take damage to this attack or not. We shall see. This isn't just going to be like a two-on-one bio push. There will be tanks involved with this for the diamond player. For now, he is going to have a supply depot taken fire. His siege tank helping zone away the stalkers of Alpha Star, which is quite nice for him. However, his supply depots are rather far forward. So there is a chance that the stalkers could come back in and potentially exploit this. Uh, for now, though, it does look like things are, things are going just fine for the diamond player. We'll see if he's able to push Alpha Star or not, who, by the way, has yet to throw up a third base. Just going to be throwing up three, four extra gateways, potentially planning a big attack, maybe with zealots or something. I mean, four gateways is a lot of gateways. Uh, yeah, particularly to do on two bases. Like, this is going to put the AI on seven gates, seven gate charge lot, while the Diamond Terran player has thrown up his third command center on location already. Uh, this game could get a little, little bit hairy rather soon. The Marines are doing what they can to push away Alpha Star's Stalkers, but the AI Miss Micros actually loses two. So this iteration, with its uh, limitations, not actually microing the Stalkers super well, keeps those ones alive, which is nice. However, the attack is going to be coming in for the Diamond player, but I get the feeling that this one could just be smashed. Nothing shuts down a tank push harder than a hefty amount of charge lots. And these Marines, they don't have plus one, they don't have combat shield just yet. I mean, you think Bio is generally pretty good against Charge Lot Stalker, but against this much, with the good Guardian shield from Alpha Star, the Diamond player is just going to have to head on home. He does keep his Medivacs alive, though, which is nice. He saves his tanks, too. All in all, not bad. But, oh, he's got to be careful. Those Stalkers are in hot pursuit. Uh, yeah, the Diamond player will have to go home. He is just going to be macroing up, getting up his third, making more barracks. Ah, uh, the Stalkers are pursuing. I sure hope those units are going to unload, and they do. The Medivacs are getting targeted down, but the Stalkers really, really committed in there. So, uh, quite a trade there, which I don't think went Alpha Star's way. The Diamond player is going to try and pursue this. We do see the AI sending some units across the map. The Diamond player uh, loads his tanks into his Medivacs. He's going to siege them, which seems to be the wrong call. They would have got more done if they were unseaged. The Stalkers of Alpha Star are pushing on in. Marines come out, though, for the Diamond player. The Observer gets scanned, going to get killed amongst all that chaos. Alpha Star does have another, though. Another, though, is warping in more Stalkers to move across the map. Hasn't thrown up a third base yet. Uh, there is a third base being queued up, though. And potentially is going to just be able to push in and kill the Diamond player because the Diamond player's production isn't really up to stuff. He's making just Marines and it's not a super high count that he's got in them. His Marines aren't going to be taking the best fight right now against the Blink Stalkers. It's that critical mass conundrum. If you don't have enough Marines, the Stalkers will totally just, uh, totally just wreck face. Uh, yeah, these Marines in in quite a bit of trouble. The Diamond player could be in a bit of trouble. I mean, he's in quite a good spot, all things considered. If he just wasn't going to die to this push, and I'm worried he's just going to die to this push, he's making another tank, which is a good start. But more units are moving across the map for Alpha Star. Medivacs are here to help out. Uh, but I think there may need to be an STV pull if he's really going to hold this. He's got his tank sieged up on the high ground. Fortunately, the AI doesn't know about his third base yet. Otherwise, that would be very vulnerable. But oh, is the AI going to scout it? Not yet, not yet anyway. The tank is going to reposition, which definitely will help out against these Stalkers. The Marines are going to push Alpha Star away. At the same time, though, Stalkers and a Warp Prism are in the main base of the Terran. This is going to make things really, really hectic. The Marines stim back, but the Stalkers of Alpha Star should be moving in. Are they going to blink on top of the tank? Uh, n they do indeed. The tank does pick off a couple of the Stalkers. All the Stalkers in the main base do get cleaned up, same with the Prism, which is good for the Diamond player. His economy is still okay, he's still got his 1-1 on the way. As long as he's just laying on that make unit key, I think he can be fine. Alpha Star recalls some of its units, but not all of them, so some of these Stalkers are gonna go down. What a messy, messy Alpha Star game we've got today. Uh, a lot of Stalkers are gonna die in this chaos. The Diamond player moving his Marines to intercept their retreat. And he holds on. He lost quite a few SCVs, though. 22 SCVs have gone down so far. Uh, his economy is a bit of a mess as he's got SCVs everywhere. But still, third CC. He can drop mules for days. He's just making Marines now, though. I'd like to see some Marauders in the mix of this, buddy. I'd like to see, uh, see some more Medivacs, maybe. And Armory gets started up, so he'll be able to go for his 2-2. But, oh boy, here comes Alpha Star with all of its charge lots. 
potentially going for a big attack, but I mean, honestly, Marines. Mass Marines against mass charred lots? I think the Marines can do okay, as long as they're microed correctly, but oh no, not if they load up into Medivax as the army is about to come in for an attack. Looks like Alpha Star might have just seen that SCV transferring. We'll see how this is going to work out. Uh, the Diamond player is throwing up a couple of extra starports, making a fusion core. He's just got his mass marines. He's going to engage into the AI. The upgrades, it's 1-1 one, one against 0-2. The marines are standing pretty strong, but the Zealot's getting some good surface area. It's actually really tough to say who's going to win it. It looks like the marine count is starting to wear thin as the Zealots are just staying alive for so long. The marines are doing what they can, but without an SCV pull, the Diamond player is not going to hold on. I think Alpha Star is actually going to break his opponent here. I think that the Marines just needed to micro a little bit to micro back, uh, kite back and all that good stuff. But in the end, I think Alpha Star will win this game. I mean, SCVs are dying at the natural, but no, the Diamond player holds on for now. Uh, what a game. What a mess. 12 Marines at a time are being made still. Alpha Star against just mass Marines. There's another big round of charge lots getting warped in, though. The Diamond player needs to be kiting back against this. He's going to load up into Medivax, but Alpha Star targets down the full one. And there goes a lot of the supply for the Diamond player. And I think that think this one was a bit of a tragedy for the human race. As uh, Yeah, I think it was a bit of a tragedy for the human race. As the Diamond player, if he macroed a little bit better, if he sort of fought with critical mass, I think he absolutely could have won that game. But uh, GG, Alpha Star takes it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are into the next match. This one's going to be on King's Cove, and it's going to be Alpha Star taking on a Master's Toss, and it's actually Alpha T, Alpha Terran, Alpha Space Cowboy, whatever you want to call it. So, yeah, we'll see how the AI is going to do against the Master's player. It's Alpha T, which is probably the oddest of the iterations, uh, the most quirky. Alpha Terran really deviates from human Terran play, so to speak, with its like mass starports, that kind of stuff. Uh, just with the positioning of the units, its composition, the way it approaches the matchup. Whereas uh, I feel like Alpha Protoss, uh, it plays pretty normal. Alpha Zerg likes to do its timing attacks, but it plays plays pretty normal for the most part. Alpha Terran, Alpha Terran's the really odd one, I'd say. Now, this Masters player is sending a probe out on the map, got a gateway on the way. I wonder if there's going to be a bit of a proxy. Do we have a proxy? No, just a scouting probe for now, so all is well. The probe moves on up into the main base of the Terran player, zipping and zapping away on this SCV. Probe moving around. Just spots that there's no proxy barracks or anything, and the Masters player safely throws up his Nexus and his Cyber Core, so gonna be gonna be going for a normal macro game. The Reaper is on the way for Alpha Star, as the probe is being a little bit of a jerk, delaying the AI's CC a bit. However, that does end up getting thrown on up. And the probe probably will head on home, scamper away as that Reaper is on its way out. Okay, taking a look. The probe moving bing bang boom, bouncing around. Gonna go back for that classical scout in. The timing when the Reaper is away that the probe will play. Go in for the scout when the Reaper's going in for its own scout. However, Alpha Star is opting to make the Marine, which should shut down this, uh, this later probe scout. The Reaper gonna head into the main base. The Master player is Chrono boosting out a Stalker as the Reaper jumps in. Is it gonna get a probe? Looks like it will get at least one probe. Can the Stalker actually kill the Reaper though? Oh, it's gonna be close. Oh, so close, but the Reaper escapes for Alpha Star. Good micro from the AI. Good, good micro. Another Stalker on the way being Chrono boosted out by the Master's player. Going right into a Robo is quite a curious play. The scouting probe, by the way, did did get in. Saw the factory, saw the reactor, and then perished. 
Yeah, so the very quick robo is quite odd. What's the master's player going to do with this? Is he just going to do like a robo macro play? Send the observer across the map, spot the Terran drops and stuff, and then maybe counter with a prism or just go into a quick third? We shall see. The stalker is going to push away that reaper. And then the eBay is on the way for Alpha Star. There's a cyclone, a couple of marines, starport. So the AI going for a good old 1-1-1. Alpha Star, even throwing up turrets already. Man, these are early turrets. What what happened to this iteration of Alpha Star, which is like, oh man, can't trust those Protoss players. Gotta build me a turret. Is it Oracles? Is it DTs? Who knows? Anyway, the Stalker is gonna help shoo away this Reaper. The Reaper comes on in, spots the two gateways, which I wouldn't say is a huge scout or anything like that. It's just a three-gate Protoss at the max. Uh, and we are actually gonna be seeing Quick Colossus from the Masters players, so going to be having that in his arsenal, which I definitely don't mind. All the while, the first observer is moving across the map, going to be able to get the scout. Stalkers shut down the Reaper, so Alpha Star doesn't know about the tech of the Masters player. However, as we all know and love, the AI is starting to research that cloak and going to be building a Banshee. And we know how many games the Alpha Star Banshees have just won like it's nothing. Oh man, if, if we ever were to have, if Alpha Star was ever to have like t-shirts, it would be like, it, I don't know, it would be like a picture of like a Banshee, the Alpha Star logo, and then just how many kills, and I, I think that would be an awesome t-shirt. Uh, yeah, so that that's kind of neat. Now we take a look, there is indeed a Banshee popping out, a tank on the way, just the Marine's usual Alpha Star play, turret at the natural just being extra, extra safe. I guess with the AI not scouting out, it's like, uh, I don't know. Disruptor is on the way for the Masters player. However, that's unfortunately not going to help him deal with the Banshees. Now, the Observer did actually spot the Banshees, though, so he should be prepared to deal with this. He's got one Observer moving across the map. But the problem is that is just the one Observer. There's a shield battery starting at the natural, which I do like to see. He's making another Disruptor, so going very, very Disruptor heavy. And actually going to be going for Disruptor Drops. But then he is throwing up extra shield batteries in his main. And this is how I like to see players play against Banshees. Like, the amount of value a shield battery gives you when you're going up against Banshee harassment, it gives you so much time to react. It makes life much tougher for the Terran player who's got to micro their Banshee around that or decide what to do. Now, Alpha Star is very good with Banshees, though, so... It's not like I'm going to be like, oh no, Alpha Star is going to die, and oh my god, no, 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 okay. Master's player, you're playing with fire. Alpha Star has got a lot of clumped up marines, so the AI is going to have to be careful about those disruptor shots. But at the same time, the disruptor can easily die, as it's not an easily microable thing with that prism to get your value. The third base is chugging away for the Master's player, though. It's got an observer, or the Master's player's got an observer on the way. Uh, yeah, multiple observers out, multiple shield batteries, stalkers in position. This looks like it could be okay for the Masters player. At the same time, though, we see Alpha Star is going to move out onto the map, and I'm not sure if the AI actually knows about, or the player, not the AI, knows about this. The Banshees are coming in to harass. There is no observer at this base. The observers are actually getting split up right now, and this is actually kind of a perfect diversion for the attack that's going to come in and hit the third base with the tanks so the banshees are getting cleaned on up but the marines are coming in towards the natural base the probes are going to have to run and the third will be in trouble looks like the prism and the disruptors are coming back there's actually no disruptors to help out with this are the stalkers just going to blink on here yes they are the stalkers are going to blink on try and take out the tanks looks like they get two of them the disruptors coming in is there going to be a big shot where's the disruptor shot it fires was it too late though will it get picked off it hits the tank but none of the marines and disruptors don't one shot tanks the Banshee at the natural base is starting to get a few kills as the shield battery has worn thin. A Cyclone kind of wandered into there, and we're seeing the Masters player kind of just fall apart. He's going to lose, oh, so many probes. He recalls those probes to get them out, but so many get cut up first. Then the Banshee at the natural is getting cleaned up, but the economy of the Masters player has just been destroyed with this attack from Alpha Star. A very, very strong move. The Disruptor's coming forward, Nova's getting tossed out. One of the Disruptors gets picked off. And that is a trade Alpha Star is more than happy to happy to play with right now. Stalkers being microed with the Prism. They do have Blink. 
but there's actually just so many Marines, they're just pushing through. They're gonna be giving the hu human player more grief. The Protoss player actually loses his Prism. He might even lose his Disruptor. Just losing everything. He lost his comeback unit, and GG gets called. Alpha Star takes the two to zero today. Ladies and gentlemen, Alpha Star winning another one. Now, if you enjoyed this match, make sure to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe if you made it all the way to the end of the video. You like AI or you like StarCraft. And then, of course, join the Discord, which is linked in the description. And then there is that membership. There are memberships, which you can check out if you want to, also in the description or with the join button. I'll see you next time. This has been Laughing Games. Thanks for watching.